Welcome to part 26 of my DIY backyard project. If you have missed the previous progress on how I built the deck by myself, yes, one person, you may want to check them out in the description because it was very exciting. For many of you plan to build a deck by yourself or even hiring a contractor, I hope you will find this helpful because there's a lot of technical tips I shared with you. My goal is to inspire more people into DIY. This time, we are talking about raccoon problem in your backyard. How to prevent these wild creatures from pooping and peeing on your patio furniture is what I want to focus on. If you google for a solution, I am pretty sure you have seen some of this before. Indeed, I spent so much money and tried all of them, and I can tell you none of them worked. I bought 5 pounds of cayenne pepper from Amazon. Such a waste of money. Now, I don't know what to do with that. They said coffee grind can get rid of raccoon, so I had so many cups of coffee. Nope, it did not work. Hot pepper sauce didn't work either. Animal repellent granules from Home Depot is a joke. Save your money. I thought going a bit high tech would solve the problem. I bought the LED predator eyes and ultrasonic animal control from Amazon and installed it under the bridge. Here we have a cute rabbit. Then we have the raccoon. Well, it did not work. Next, there is a product called Animal Deterrent Mat which is made out of plastic with some spikes. I bought two rolls of this and put them on the love seat. On top of that, I wrapped the whole furniture with garden netting before putting the cover on. That's where the raccoon call it home. There was a YouTube video out there telling you to install the aluminum wire on top of the fans. So I bought a roll of wire. But before I installed that, one of my backyard neighbors actually saw that video and installed it on his fans. I can tell you, it didn't work at all. I saw all kinds of animals running across. Many people said coyote urine would work, so I spent $150 Canadian to buy two types of coyote urine. First one is granules. It stings. You just spread it around your garden. Because I was so desperate, I also bought the real coyote urine. This stuff is expensive. I have high expectation on this, I wish it worked. The problem is that the raccoons were born in the city. They may have never seen a coyote in their life. The raccoon is claiming victory. Don't waste your money on coyote urine. Remember I have this set of patio furniture from IKEA. If you like it, check out part 14 of this DIY deck project. I will post the link in the description. To protect it from the snow in winter time, I moved all the cushions indoor and put the pink foam boards on the chair so the snow can slide off by itself. It worked flawlessly until springtime. When I open it, look, it's a disaster. Raccoon made a mess and destroyed the foam board. Of course, there are poop and pee. Something I want to share with you, raccoon feces is extremely deadly. Most people don't know anything about this. There is a parasite called Bayliss ascaris procinus. This is also known as raccoon roundworm. If it gets into your body, 90% of the chance you will die. Google it yourself. The proper way to deal with it is to burn the feces. That's the usual way I do it. There is another way to kill the eggs inside the feces. It's boiling water. I cannot do it on the patio furniture. The only option I have is pressure washer. Now, the biggest question is, what will work? After three years of testing, I can tell you bird spike does work if you put it on top of the fence, but it's a little bit ugly. I also built a mobile motion activated water sprinkler. I will make a separate video on that project. It was very exciting. You don't want to miss it. Remember to subscribe. I will post that video in the near future.
Using chicken wire to sew the bottom of the fence does help. Yes, raccoon can climb, but it eliminates half of the lazy one who don't want to climb. To protect the patio furnitures, we are making spike boards using stainless steel bread nails. Do not use regular nails or screws, it's way too sharp, and it can hurt the animals. We don't want to do that. For me, I am using the leftover Azac facial boards from a DIY deck project. All you need is a bread nail gun, it's very easy. There you go, I put around 8 nails per foot. For good quality work, you want to make sure all the nails are flush with the board. Adjust the nails so they are pointing to different directions randomly. Put it in front of the chair. Use releasable zip ties to secure it to the legs. For this chair, I don't need to do it on the sides or at the back. Brad nails are not that sharp, it doesn't cut into my skin if I put my hands over on top. Do not use regular screws on nails, you don't want the animals to get hurt. If you just put it on top of the deck, it's not good. We need to work on drainage and have some airflow to keep the bottom dry. That's pretty much self-explanatory, and this is the finished product. Now, water can drain properly. Notice that I filed the screws to make them flat so it doesn't hurt the animals. One is finished, and several more to go, but it's pretty easy. For the love seat and the ottoman, there are some low entry points to protect. I had to do it this way to wrap around it. I recommend when you shop for patio furnitures, don't buy the ottoman. I have tested this for three years. This is proven to work. Raccoons still came to my backyard, but they didn't slip on my patio furniture anymore. Besides what I showed you, there is one last option. is to install electric fans. It's very popular to use it in the farm. But I don't want to do that. Next time, we are building a project that will drive all the raccoons away from the yard. It's mobile and you can move it around. I am pretty sure you don't want to miss that. If you find some good information in this video, give this a thumbs up. My goal is to inspire more people into DIY. You may also want to check out other videos on my channel. I am pretty sure you will love them. Remember to subscribe, thanks for watching and see you next time.